Hey guys, Devil Dog here with Explominate.com, trying to give you a first impressions video of Lords of the Black Sun, and good god has it taken me forever. I've had a lot of audio issues and some other issues. Hopefully this one works. Uh, I'm just going to go with it, assuming that it's going to. Uh, this is a Forex that was put out by Arcavi Studios. Uh, it was in alpha beta, public, public alpha beta for quite some time. One went into early access, I don't know, a couple months ago, a few months ago, forever ago and came out out of the blue on Friday and uh, you know I've, I played it a, a few times I wasn't really impressed with it before this will be my very first time with the early access build or I'm sorry with the final build so it'll be kinda new to both of us I'm gonna try to do what I can to show you my uh, my initial impressions as they happen which is pretty cool right not so what we'll do is we'll start off um, with the human race as our selected race and we'll make, we've, I've already made all these other AIs an easy AI and I've added all of them. All, all of them. Um, you have your standard fare of galaxy settings and your standard fare of game settings. Um, and nothing's particularly interesting, so I'm just going to go ahead and start it. Um, the races are pretty cool. Uh, they're all individual. They don't fill, fit like any niche, or I'm sorry, any like standard category. They, they're all well illustrated and, you know, they, they, they are definitely a strong point in the game. So. Kudos for that. We're going to go ahead and start game. Skipping the uh, initial scene there. So we're prompted originally to start start our research. Um, before, when the last time I played this, this was actually just a bunch of lists. So this is pretty cool to see a tree. Um, and I don't remember there being any particularly interesting text when I played it before. In fact, I'm not really seeing anything exciting here. Just standard fare. No, like, doom weapons, no planet killers, nothing like that. So, uh, that, it's kind of bland. I'm not a big fan. Nothing really here that I'm seeing terribly interesting either. A little shallow, but, you know, sometimes shallow is alright. So, yep, not really seeing anything cool in the science category either, but we are going to start with surface scanning here in this, the science category because um, your scouts originally aren't able to scan the surfaces of planets which I kinda hate but we will go ahead and start this and you know the, the, the only problem with the this being the mechanic is that your scouts at first they're literally freaking worthless they just move from system to system and you can tell how many planets are in there but you can't tell how good the planets are or anything so it kinda halts production, I'm sorry, it halts expansion for some time which you know to me I don't really like I'm, I'm a big expander in my forex games so whatever uh, this is the overview map as you can see it's just sort of you know a box with some stars and planets in it it's kinda similar to galactic civilizations the way they've uh, set up their overworld map but it's almost more boring it's just very I mean there's a bunch of dots and they have planets around them so I don't know <laughs> I, this is already starting to sound negative and I feel bad for that because you know I'm sure that they put a lot of work into this but you know there's just some things that Forex needs and they've pretty much checked all those boxes it's just none of them are particularly interesting so I've moved my scout to the surrounding system heal and before we go to the next turn and stuff I'll show you a couple of the menu screens here Empire management, a lot of these, empire, any of these screens that pop up are going to have a tutorial that are, they're all written in like super small text and I hate them. I hate them like a lot. Um, so here you got your, your standard empire management screen, which is pretty cool. Um, something that deviates a little bit from the norm is your domestic policies. Um, depending on what the population wants, you can um, institute d different policies that change the way things roll. So you can you know, institute under uh, underage labor, institute free healthcare, stuff like that. They all have drawbacks and they all have uh, pros, cons, whatever. Come over here. One of the few things again that's a, that's a little bit outside the norm is delivering speeches. You basically accumulate glory points, which is up here. Um, you get them through, I think, research, battles, stuff like that. And as you accumulate them, you can spend them on speeches that you know, do various good things. See how small that text is? I don't know if it's showing up as well on your screen, but it's it's horrifyingly small on mine. 
Um, here's ministers. You basically have heroes, both governors and generals. And, yeah. Standard fare, like I said. Nothing crazy. Uh, the delivering speeches thing is cool, but it really doesn't add too much to gameplay. Um, we've got a bunch of other things here. The UI is pretty simplistic. Um, you can mouse over anything and see it, but, you know, a lot of it's too small. Like, these are just super small. And I'm not a big fan of, of, of giant UIs, but I... I feel like you should have a UI big enough that I can see the emblem without having to squint my eyes. So, <laughs> take that for what it's worth, Arkavi. Um, and the last thing we'll do, we'll look at the uh, the the colony that we've got here, Terra 1. And the cool thing about the banner here is that it shows you, A, what that it's the home planet, but B, when you start to build stuff and other things, other statuses are accruing on the planets, they... they show up as little symbols above the name, so it's kind of cool. Double click it. So, standard stuff, we have a bunch of stuff we can build. The cool things here are the difference, uh, or I'm sorry, are the different stuff like crime rates and government trust and health care or health rate. They're all things you have to kind of worry about. The, uh, I don't know, they don't really add anything to gameplay. They're just another thing you have to worry about. And they all have like the appropriate buildings to worry about them with. So we're going to start with factory. Give a little production boost. But you have stuff like healthcare, or I'm sorry, health center, which increases health rate, and the police station, which decreases your crime rate. But again, like it doesn't add anything. I mean, it's just one more little statistic that you have to worry about. But whatevs. So we'll keep going. Hit intern. Showed you all of these, right? No, I didn't. I started Empire Management and I just completely got sidetracked. Diplomacy menu is standard, blah blah blah. You'll have your list of other alien races that you meet and your news that you can come back and look at what maybe have happened last last turn or two. And you have your uh, espionage, your intelli intelligence menu. You can make agents. I haven't actually gotten into this because this was something that was added late. So I haven't had an opportunity to see how well the espionage system works. But we'll find out. I'll report back. And your ship de designs menu. This is something that's going to come in handy pretty early because once we get that scanning tech over here in seven months or seven turns, we'll uh, we'll have to make our own scout that has that tech on it. So, not a big fan of that because I'd rather there be like a a starter template or just a regular, you know, like a regular design ship that comes with the techs that come out like that. Um, you know, like once I get that, I should be able to get like a a scanning scanning scout that pops up so I don't have to build it but for each new tech design or I'm sorry for each new uh, tech you you research you have to create a new design that incorporates it so whatever oh man this sounding so negative I feel horrible but you know I'm <laughs> we're in 2014 and there's some things that have just you know have occurred in the 4x genre or have been brought to the 4x genre in the past few years and they're kind of things that if you're going to be building a game, you should probably incorporate. And I don't know. There's just so much that this game could have been, and there's just a lot of emptiness to it. So, oh, well, hi. Um, so we're going to just keep going through an ending turn as soon as this little go. <laughs> there we go. Watch the scouts move out, and we've already meet. We already met the Arcanus Dominion. Arconas, but it's very, look at that, it's very, it's very well illustrated, it's pretty, pretty awesome. One of the highlights of this game is some decent illustrations. In turn, move this guy out here, and we'll keep going, and there we go. So we've built the factory, we'll go to planet, and I wish go to planet actually brought up the screen instead of me having to double click it built the, I think it was the factory, of course, yeah. Short-term memory loss. We will move into the research lab, and then we will consider doing a colony ship. Actually, we'll hold off on that, because we haven't, we, we can't colonize a, a planet until we've scouted it out and know what's on its surface, which makes perfect sense, but again, it really delays the expansion process. So, alright, so we've got that going. We have service scanning coming up in two months, and we'll hit in turn. Blah, blah, blah. Keep going. 
Oh, okay, so we've done it, and as you see, I gained five glory points towards my ability to make a speech. We'll do improved colonization. You can right-click out of any of the menus, which is pretty awesome. Move this guy over yonder. And... Oh, yeah, and now is an opportunity to design our new scanning ship. In fact, I'll even call it Scanning Scout, which is what I think they should do anyways. Scanning Scout, it'll be a light hull. We will simply just put an engine on it and the module for scan. And the way this works is that you'll see that each of these ca uh, costs a certain amount of tons, I'm guessing. T for tons. Oh, yeah, duh. And <laughs> you can't go over the weight limit. So 5 and 3 equals 8. So we have 8 tons, and you can't go beyond 10. And each of the medium, or each of the holes, all have different uh, tonnage capabilities. So we'll create a new design with our awesome name, Scanning Scout. X out. Come over here. And build said Scanning Scout. Where is it? Okay, he's still moving. So the... Oh, sorry, I got distracted there. So what I was trying to say is that even though this guy is going around and, and exploring all these systems, without that scanning technology... What? Okay, it's working all of a sudden. It was not working the last time. Okay, good. So somebody's been listening. Because before we couldn't tell what all that stuff was. And now you can. There's a minor race. We'll have to get into that. I don't know anything about minor races. Offer technology. Cautious. Offer gift. We'll offer them some money. Say hi. We're nice. Offer technology. Yeah, I'll have to explore that a little bit further. I don't know what the minor races do and what their their game mechanic involves. But so now we have a bunch of um bunch of planets that have been scanned. So the weird thing is I I probably should have played this before. But the last time I played this, um you had this you needed the scanning tech on a scout in order to scan the various planets. But now I guess you don't. So that's good. Keep this up, and we'll just scout around. And I think it's a good opportunity to build a colony ship. So basically, all this really involves is uh, what you're seeing going through the research tech tree and uh, expanding. Going through a rather bland tech tree and expanding your empire. I'll have to look into how the minor races work out and let you know what that's all about and maybe we could do a short little let's play of it later but until then this was my initial impressions i appreciate you watching devil dog from exploraminate we'll see you around